Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a new travel trailer in the RV industry. This one's competing with that small, lightweight, off-road competition. This is a 2021 Cruiser RV Hitch Model 16 RD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this cruiser and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. And welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the World's Towing Channel giving you that true and bias review about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome hitch, a great off-road travel trailer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will, you're hey back. Guys, I am. How's it going? It's going good. The last couple weeks have been a little rough. For those of you who don't know, um, I did come down with COVID. That's why Matt had been doing videos all on his own. Yep. But um, I'm all better now. I'm super excited to be back and uh, check out this hitch. Now, where are we today? We are in RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. North Kakalaki. That's yes, sir. Right. And this is a great dealership. They got a great uh, service department and um just tons of great units they really have a lot yeah here. and um, everybody here's super nice they, they are they're great their phone number is 704-743-5280 yes we appreciate rv1 of charlotte yes. and uh we appreciate them letting us review here of today of course thank you so much and we're probably going to be here a lot guys we'll probably do a meet and greet next time yeah um, because this is a nice middle point for will and myself it is model is hitch 16 rd the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 21 feet long. Will, the dry weight is? 3586. And I don't know the hitch weight, but we will have the specs on the screen right there. Okay. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. I love that for this price point, this right, size right, for sure. travel trailer. Propane tanks go here, mm. your batteries go here. This is the hitch, it's aluminum framing with fiberglass sides. And again, this is going to be competitors to your Rockwood E Pro or to your Rock Road Geo Pros and your Forest River E Pros. Very awesome, off the grid looking. Hey, check out those lights up top too. They're they're unique. Oh yeah, very cool. Yeah. I like the name Hitch too. I do too. Yeah. Coming on down the side here. Look at this huge storage yeah. right here. Check very that out. nice. It is prepped for solar right there. I think it has solar on it. Well, we're gonna find out when yeah. we go up on the roof. And then right there, we do have the manual stabilizing jacks. And I love how it's a slam latch door. Of course. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights going down practically the whole side of the trailer. Right. Three year structural warranty. And then it does have the climate defense package, which means it's an enclosed underbelly. Also, very awesome feature. They use Asdale sidewall, yes. which you guys know Will and I both love. Asdale is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. And then look at these tires, Will. Very cool. Can you They're the them? Apex. <laughs> Rainier ST Apex. I love those. They're the ST 235-75 R15. And I love the rugged look. All right. Very cool. So is this where you latch that table into? Oh, Will, go grab it okay. since you said it. Oh man, yeah, I saw that table. I was like, what the heck is that? I think that is. That is so, oh man. Look, if, cool. if the boot fits. <laughs> there, we go. there we go, look so at that. So smart. That's cool. So smart, I love that. Yeah. Right over here, we do have a uh, cable and power if you do want to have a TV on the outside. And then right here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Yes. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice D-ring for uh, for you to lease up your dog. Sp um, coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera, and we do have a ladder again from the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right, be careful. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see Will was right. There is a solar panel up there. I think it's a 100 watt solar panel. Right there's your wine guard 360. And then right here, you can see that it does have an air conditioning unit. Here we go now. All right, last step. 
great. And if you haven't already, make sure everybody smashes that thumbs up button. What other RV review crew is gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Will, we need a new slogan since I we're know. not salespeople anymore. Coming on down the side here, 30 amp hookup, satellite cable. Guys, leave down in the comments below. Let us know what slogan we can say after we're um, up on the roof. Yeah, and then Will, I'm sorry. There's the London Air we're gonna be shooting later today. Yeah, that's nice. Do the sales tax on that. Could you even afford that? One, I couldn't <laughs> even afford the sales tax. Oh, you mean it's more than and this? It's more than this. Yeah. Woo! Finishing up, black tank flush city water connection. Here's where you dump your tanks. Water heater right there. And then look, oh man, it does have a 1200 watt inverter. Very nice. And everything. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the hitch looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, starting up front, you got the bed. Then coming down the middle. On the driver's side is this bathroom. And then on the other side is the kitchen area. And in the back is your dining area. And uh, yeah, let's get started let's back here. Switch. Uh oh, hey, these are tight. Okay, so back here is the dinette area, okay? As you can see, it does drop down to make a bed. If we lift this boy, okay? Um, lift it up just to get more space. There is two legs that go here. Let's see if we can find them. We'll find them throughout the video and I'll get it set up. But the two legs go here and it does make a pretty comfortable fit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I like that dinette. I uh, know. You know, it's, yes. it's not a U shape, but it's kind of like a comfortable, more comfortable feel to it. And actually, so I did this by mistake, not intentionally. Yeah. But I do like how the table flips up because yeah. now it's like a little lounge area. It is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got your AC unit right there. And something that I do love, you do have three windows and all three of them open. This one's not supposed to open. It's the emergency, but it still opens. And then look at that nice cross breeze. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You got the window here that does open, which is unique, and that window there. I really do like that. And then back here. Also, notice how there's no lights on. Yes, and it's still fairly bright in exactly. here. Exactly, very bright light. Really nice. Mm. You do got these shades here, okay. Nice. Um, air conditioning control and everything. Is there storage under these? A uh, little bit of storage right. there. And here. Yep. Cool. And then this is your living room kitchen area. So, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I got it, Will. Okay. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $26,057 MSRP. But well, well, that's great. Yeah, for one, MSRP. that's the MSRP. That's a lot better price than its competition. Yeah. But well, they're not selling it for that. If you're interested in this unit, give RV One a call. We have a link to their website down below or call 704-743-5280. I'll let them know you sold on Matt's RV Reviews and they're going to hook you up with a great price. That's right. Well, let's continue the video. All right, so we'll start right here with how small this trailer is. I can't believe they fit like a pantry area you know multi-purpose pantry because you can use it to hang clothes if needed okay um and then plenty of drawers and everything here as well very nice <clears throat> very right nice. right behind that is the graystone microwave just a regular microwave yes sir yes sir and then here's your fridge and your little freezer up mm -hmm. top there okay okay coming down here you got some good storage up top yes sir Nice graystone range hood there. Food range. Yeah, we can move that now. And then we do have a window here that opens, which is really nice. I got a nice two burner suburban cooktop with the glass cover right there. And then a nice single bowl sink with the insert. Oops, I'm sorry, well, let oh. me see that sink. Very nice. Good size sink right there um, with a regular faucet. These are solid service countertops. Very nice. I didn't think they were at first. A little more storage down below. And here as well. Very nice. I think. Oh, and then check this out, man. Talk to me. Right here. Oh, look at that. Do it, Will. Psh. 
America. Hell yeah, <laughs> and in North Carolina too. That's right. That's as American as it gets. <laughs> and then all your control panels and everything, or some of them are down there. Perfect, it's now time for the shower test. All right, I don't know, this small trailer. Man, I'm feeling it today, Will. Are you? Actually, not that bad. That's a 30 by 36. It's not, so I can't pass it. Right, it is but. Too short. But this way, that way, and that way is really and this nice. Way. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so in here we got a little place, little shelf area, medicine cabinet for all your medicines. Nice little sink action, little storage underneath there. Okay, and then you don't even need to do this. Oh man, plastic, womp, womp, womp. It's all good. Come on out, Will. Okay. Finishing up, Will, with this bedroom area, okay? Actually, decent sized bed yeah. back here, if I can see that. Sure. You got a little, uh, here's your inverter control, your little, little cubby space, USB and power, and then right there's where the TV is, not bad. And then above, we do have more storage. And it's nice. I mean, again, guys, this is a small single axle trailer. Right. It, it, it's made to be the way it is. Um, and it's lightweight, easy to tow, and easy to stow. That's right. No storage underneath, right? Let's the check. bed doesn't lift. There are drawers here. Oh, okay. So I doubt that it lifts. Yeah, no, it doesn't lift. Dr st um, drawer. 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 And drawer. I actually like that design, though. Yes. You know, it's almost better than the lift because you actually have drawers to put stuff in. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the hitch. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Let's do love. Okay. Here's why. My last like four videos, <laughs> I've done it the other way. Okay. So let's do three things we love about it. First things first. I absolutely love the off-road package. I love yes. those tires. I love the way it looks, the way it handles and everything. And I think it's absolutely fantastic, especially for a smaller travel trailer like this. I mean, that's what it's really designed for. And I right. really like that. Right. That's number one. Number okay. two. I kind of hinted to it already, but I, I really actually like this whole bed setup. Talk to me. You know, it's a good sized bed. Nice laying day. it well, laying it well. All right. Yeah, okay. I mean, I will is wow yeah i could i could definitely make this work you know you still got your power you got storage and i really like how they did this where the bed doesn't flip up but you have some drawers you can put your socks and underwear in one you know your shirts and pants and everything in another you know i'm perfect. gonna combo that with like it's not necessarily an open concept it is kind of like a bedroom and like right, a living room right. so yeah so that's okay. number two and then will number three we're going back here I'm gonna, I gotta say something as stupid as the dinette cushions. Right, is it that nice? It's very comfortable, nice. I absolutely love that feature. And again, I'm gonna combo it with the three windows. It's just yes. very, very nice. Cool. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now, it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer. Boom, okay. boom, boom. You ready for me to go first? Yeah. Okay. I don't like the small fridge. I was just gonna say the same thing. Yes, sir. I stole it from you. <laughs> uh, what they could have done, they could have put the microwave over here. Exactly. This is great storage. And they yes. could have made it a bigger fridge. Yep, with that's a real freezer. One. Should that be number one, two, and three? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's number one. Well, number okay, two. So I gotta think for a sec. I think you're there. I think it's a small think, kitchen. Yeah. It's just a small kitchen. There's it's a small kitchen and two burners. Yep. You know, those two burners take up a lot of space. Oh, and um, like hardly any counter space. That's what I'm saying. They didn't even do a flip up either. Yep, yep. They could have done something. They could have made the sink maybe smaller, the burners a little small. Yeah. Just to give you a little bit more countertop space. Um, right. It just is what it is. Okay. Oh, can I give you a fourth like? Okay. I did like how depth and width that shower was. Yes, yeah. Like, because it is taken away from right here. Right. But, you it's know. It's worth it. Like, unless you're tall like Will. Yeah. So that's dislike number two. And then dislike number three, Will, it's gonna uh -huh. be these steps. We don't like these steps. We've never right. liked these steps. Um, those fold up steps is just so much better. Not only that, this door stops right here, which is a little weird. I wish the door would have opened all the way. Right, I agree. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the all new hitch. Again, big shout out to RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina, 704-734-5280. We yes. appreciate them letting us be here Thank today. You. Thank Will, you. is there anything you want to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the hitch. 
Um, again, thanks so much to everybody who texted me and left comments um, wishing me well. I'm so happy to be back. I'm still sometimes a little get a little tired quick. So you might see Jen in a couple of videos as well, just giving me a little break. Yep. But um, we're excited to be back and doing videos. And big shout out to all our sponsors that you yes. saw in the beginning of the videos. Thank you. We have links to all of them down in the description below. Without them, we're unable to be 100% independent. Right. So we appreciate that. Yes, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.